Hi, you're right for this week's homework video. You are going to learn about the different components for your electrical circuit that you will be uh, soldering together for your speaker. So can you turn to this page in your booklet and write down the learning objective? That is, I will learn about different electrical components so that I understand the uses of each component in my speaker. Pause the video here and write down the learning objective. So if you're listening now, you have written down the learning objective and you are ready to learn. So <clears throat> before we can learn about our different components that we're going to use, we need to know, first of all, what an electrical circuit is and then what electrical components are. <clears throat> so I need you to have a pen in your hand and ready to take notes as we go through. So what is an electrical circuit? It is an electrical, uh, an electrical circuit is a path through which an electrical current flows. So it needs to be a closed loop, a path where electrical current flows. Within that electrical current, the, ele the path, we've got different electrical components that can be placed around the circuit in different positions, in different um, uh, ways, in order to produce a specific outcome. But what is an electrical component? They are devices that use electrical current to perform a specific function. So, for example, a light bulb is an electrical component and that uses electrical current to produce light. <clears throat> a buzzer is an electrical component and that uses electrical current to create a loud buzzing sound. <clears throat> so there's lots and lots of different components with, and each of them do something different. That's what we're going to learn today. But before that, can you pause the video here and make sure you've got the answer to those two questions written down in your booklet. Fantastic. So, we are going to start off by learning the different components that we're going to use. So, <clears throat> you've got a table in front of you. On the left-hand side, you've got the name of each of the components and then two boxes next to it. In the first box you're going to write down the circuit symbol and then in the second box you are going to write down the description of the component. And so an electrical symbol is how we would draw it in a circuit diagram. So our first one we're looking at is a switch. This is the type of switch that you've got. You've got a toggle switch and this is the component symbol. So in that first box you need to be drawing this symbol here on the right <clears throat> and then in the box next to it on the right hand side you're going to write down the description of this component. So a switch opens and closes a circuit to allow electrical current to pass through it. <clears throat> so essentially it makes or breaks the circuit. <clears throat> The, the way it's been drawn here, the switch is open, which means that there's a gap between the door of the switch and the other side. That means that electrical current cannot pass from here to here because there's a gap. So that's broken the circuit. If this bar was closed, so it connects on both of these sides, then it would make the circuit because the electrical current would be able to pass all the way through. Okay, our next component is a wire. So electrical wire is normally made from copper, like individual strands of copper, and it's coated in a rubber or plastic coating to protect it. <clears throat> this is the easiest symbol that you will have, and it's just a straight line. And the description of wire is that they are strands of copper with a rubber coating that allows electrical electrical current to flow through it. So the copper is the part that allows electrical current to flow through it, not the rubber. The rubber is an electrical insulator, so it won't allow electrical current to pass through it. Therefore, if you touch an electrical wire with the rubber around it, you will not get an electric shock. 
Our next component is a battery. So for our speaker project, we will be using a nine volt battery. It's one of these batteries with the two pins at the top. And um, it's like a tall uh, rectangular um, shape. And this is the simplest symbol for a battery. Make sure you have the plus and minus on the right sides here because those show which side of the battery is the positive side and which side is the negative side. <clears throat> if a component has a positive and a negative side, that means that the component is polarized. So a battery is a collection of one or more cells that creates electrical current to power the circuit. But what is a cell? This long line and this short line, those two together, that is a cell. As soon as you've got more than one of these pairings next to each other, it becomes a battery. The more cells in a battery, the more electrical current it can generate. The next component is a loudspeaker. <clears throat> so this is the component symbol for a loudspeaker. Notice that the two wires are both on the left hand side. The description for a loudspeaker is that it converts electrical audio signals into sound. So it takes the, um, the signals from a microchip and it converts it into the sound that we hear when we play music on our phones or on the radio. <clears throat> our next one is an LED. That stands for light emitting diode. So for this one, can you write down in brackets light emitting diode underneath where it says LED? So we know what the LED stands for. LEDs can come in lots of different um, sizes and colors. And this is the uh, electrical component symbol. You need to make sure you add in these two arrows going up in that direction. <clears throat> if those two are missed off an assessment, you would not get the mark for the um, component symbol. And the description is that it produces light when electrical current passes through it. So when electrical current passes through an LED, it will light up. Your next component is a resistor. These are really, really tiny and they can come in lots of different sizes. And we have about six of them that we will be soldering onto our circuit boards for this project. So this is the um, electrical component symbol for a resistor. Note that the wires are on both sides here. And they restrict or reduces the amount of electrical current flowing through the circuit. It does not resist the amount of electrical current. It restricts or reduces, does not resist. It's a bit, of a com bit confusing and um, the name does not help, but it restricts not resists. Okay, the next one is, and um, this is actually our last one, is a capacitor. <clears throat> capacitor can come in lots of different shapes and sizes. This is one of the examples uh, of the capacitors that we are going to be using. And this is the component symbol. Some people get this one mixed up with a battery and they like putting positives and negative uh, signs on there. You do not put them on there. <clears throat> because capacitors, sometimes they have a positive and negative side, and sometimes they don't. So some capacitors can be polarised, and some capacitors aren't. If you look at the image of the capacitor, you'll notice that one of the wires is longer than the other wire. This tells us something about the capacitor, this component. Any component that has a long wire and a short wire that tells us that it has a positive and a negative side. The long wire is always positive, 
and the short wire is always negative. So this example of a capacitor is polarised. If the two wires were the same length, then this one would not be polarised. But they have two wires that are different lengths, therefore it's polarised. So finally, the description for a capacitor is nice and simple. It stores electrical energy. What it does not do is generate it. So it's not like a battery. All it does is store electrical energy. When electrical current passes to it, it will hold on to it and release it when necessary for the circuit. Okay guys, this is the end of the video lesson. What you need to do now is quickly make sure that on your page, you have got the learning objective written down. <clears throat> You've got the answers to the first two questions on the page. What is an electrical circuit and what is an electrical component? And then you need every section of the table with the um, electrical component names, the symbols, and the descriptions for each one. If you have any blanks on your page, you need to rewind and re-watch the video. If everything is complete, thank you very much. Please take a picture of your work now and submit it on Show My Homework. I'll say that one more time. So you need to take a picture of your work now if it's all complete and upload it to Show My Homework. Thank you for watching this week, guys. I'll see you in lessons. Goodbye.